The fourth reason is that micromanagement's actually selfish. It's selfish. And what do I mean by that? Well, there's a huge phrase, servant leadership, and I've done an episode on that, why I don't use the term servant leadership. But as a leader, our job, our responsibility, both professionally, morally, and ethically, is to support the team. But when I'm micromanaging, it's to alleviate my fears. It's to alleviate my concerns. It is to provide comfort to myself, even though it doesn't feel like it at the time because you're exhausted, but ultimately you're micromanaging because of you, because of you. So you are putting so much time and energy into this to make yourself feel better. And I, I get it. That's sometimes a harsh truth. And just so we're clear, Guilty, guilty. I'm as guilty as anybody of micromanagement, particularly under stress. And there are strategies I've talked about in other episodes and will continue to. But I really wanted to throw up the flag with regard to micromanagement. We all know it's bad. We all know that we don't like to be micromanaged. And we don't like to micromanage. 